guys, it's Paige, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cool mason jar lantern, candle, whatever you want them to be, things. And they are so fun to make. It was like, they may take a long time to dry. And it depends on what kind of glue you used. I use Elmer's glue, and I waited about three hours before I did the next coat just because I wanted to be safe and I didn't want to like rip the leaves or I didn't want them the leaves to fall off because the glue was wet so mine turned out looking like this and I still have extra leaves so I'll probably be making more because they were so much fun so before I keep talking let's just get started with the video to do this project you're going to need a mason jar And you're going to go outside and collect some leaves. So you can pick as many leaves as you want, big or small, any color, and it can be any type of tree. So the next thing you're going to need is Mod Podge, and I don't have Mod Podge, and if you don't have Mod Podge, I'm going to show you how to make it. So first, you're going to take a container, fill it this much up with water, and you're also going to need a paintbrush, and some glue, liquid glue, and you're just going to pour the glue into the water. Make sure you do this on like a surface that you can wipe down so you don't make a big mess. And mix it up. So now you're going to take your mason jar, your mud punch, your paintbrush and your leaf of your choice and you can choose to leave on the stem or take it off. I'm going to take it off. Being careful not to rip the leaf. Then I put some paper down just in case it drips. I'm going to hold it like this. freeze. So after this I started to realize that I forgot to paint the mason jar with the Mod Podge first so that the leaves actually stuck to the mason jar. So let's just skip to plan B. So here I'm just touching up the edges with my paintbrush. You can use your fingers if you want to, but just make sure that every side of the leaf is stuck to the glass. And now I'm excited because the leaf actually stuck to the glass this time. And don't worry, the Mod Podge will dry on clear. So don't worry about it looking white or having like little white stuff. Just make sure that the leaf is totally stuck to the glass before you let it dry. So now you can get started putting on your second leaf. I would recommend actually leaving the first leaf to dry before you put on another one, but it's up to you. I ended up putting on two leaves to let them dry before and let them dry before I put on the others. Yeah. And when you're done, just touch up the edges and then let it dry until it's completely dry and everything's all clear again. And move the leaves around the way you want. So I'm back and everything's all clear, so I'm just going to do one more coat and make sure that the leaves are completely stuck on. And then once this is completely dry, you will be done. And then when it's all dry, it looks like this. And you can use this for anything you want, a pencil holder, anything really. 
I'm just going to set mine in the corner of my room, but if you want to, you can also take off this, and there should be a little lid thing, like this, and you can screw this back on, and you can use it as a pencil holder, or you can put little fake candles in here, and yeah, it's just a perfect decoration for fall. So, hope you guys like this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye! If you end up making this creation, make sure to post it on Instagram with the hashtag PageSports4 for a chance for your picture to be seen on next week's video. Hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye!